Hello and welcome to the video for what is the game option string get key value node. This is our get key value node. It's really simple. It takes in a pair, prints out or returns back, not prints, returns back a string of the key and the value. Simple as that. And a pair is traditionally a string equals string. So in this case we can see up here we have blah equals awesome. This is a key value pair. And we have foo equals bar that is another key value pair. If we were to run this, we'll run it. We'll load our map. This is the option string I'm pulling it out of. Blah equals awesome. Foo equals bar. And I get the key value. Well, we're going to get blah. I'm telling it to grab the key and return back the key. Not a problem. Now, if we did this with value, on the other hand, we're going to run into our first issue. Blah equals awesome. Question mark foo equals bar. There are two key value pairs here. However, when we click our button now, we get awesome, question mark, foo equals bar. This is only assuming one key value pair. So it's going to take the key, everything before the equal sign, and the value, everything after the equal sign. So if you're going to pass in just your straight option string and you have more than one key value pair, you're going to run into an issue. If you just want to use this for maybe splitting apart a pair and not using the game option, that works perfectly fine. Now the workaround to this is to basically take our option string, parse it into an array. So we take our option string, which is blah equals awesome and foo equals bar, two different key value pairs. We split it up based on the question mark, turn that into an array, and then we get each of those and print out each one. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and plug this little sucker into here and we'll hit play this time. Load our map. We still have the same one, blah equals awesome and foo equals bar two key value pairs. This time when we get the key value, we get blah and foo. We get both of them because we've turned it into an array and then ran through each of them. And you do the same thing with the value if you want. You can load it and then we get back bar and awesome. We get both of the values. So that's it. It's a nice little node. You do not have to use this for the game options. Obviously, it just simply takes in a pair. So maybe you have something special and you split them out. If not, if you're going to use it for a game option string, you might want to make sure you do something like parse it into an array, splitting it out based on that question mark that splits your different key values, and then use the get key value node on each pair to split out the key and the value. Something to keep in mind here, well, you're not really checking, so never mind, case sensitivity doesn't matter. You're not really checking against a key value. And that's it. That's the get key value node.